Greetings! My name is Vladimir and today we're checking out Orange Rocker 32 combo. You heard it on all the guitar tracks in the song in the beginning. The Rocker 32 is a 2 by 10 combo and it has Orange's own Voice of the World speakers in it. It has two channels, Natural and Dirty, and you can switch between the channels using the switch on the amp or just basically any foot switch you want, for example Orange's own foot switch which looks cool but it's really really big. The natural channel has just a volume pod and that's it. The dirty channel has gain, bass, middle and treble and a volume pod. The standby switch also features an option to select between full and half power but even at half power this amp is really 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 loud. The cool thing about this amp is it's a stereo amp which means it has a mono effects send and it has a stereo effects return and there's actually three ways you can use this. The first way to use it is as a regular effects loop which means you'll plug in your cable to the effects send, go to your pedals and come back to the mono return of the amp. The second way to use it is to use it in stereo which means going from the amp to a stereo capable pedal, in my case Strymon Timeline and having two cables coming back to the amp's effects returns. This allows you to have cool ping pong effects and such and you actually heard that application in the intro song. The third way to use it is to have a wet dry setup which means going from your effects to just the right effects return on the amp itself and it allows you to have all these cool options for example having your dry signal on the one side and having the affected signal on the other side and here's one example how it could sound. <laughs> Alright, let's break down the song in the beginning. I'm making the amp with a Shure SM58 and a Shure SM7B, both going straight into my Apollo Twin Duo interface. As you can see, I also played my acoustic guitar through the amp. I was using the natural channel and I think it sounded pretty good. As someone who plays a lot in churches, pubs, small restaurants and such, uh, there are many situations where you just don't have a monitor to monitor acoustic guitar. In these cases, I would plug in my acoustic guitar to a DI box, split the signal so the one end goes to the front house guy, if there is one, and the other output from the DI box would go to the amp, which I would use to monitor my own playing. It's not an ideal situation, but it works. Thank you for watching my Orange Rocker 32 demo. Feel free to leave a comment, ask any questions you might have, and if you want to see more videos in the future, hit that subscribe button. Alright, thanks for watching, see you next time.